Got a little filter here which I call Disguise. Does a little pixelation on a small area of the video. For instance, to mask faces for whatever reason. And uh, I'll just go ahead and demonstrate this real quick. I'll drag it onto my clip. Starts out in the center. I'm starting out at the beginning of the clip here. And I'm going to center it on this guy's face. And scale. Scale it down. Now you can do several things here. You can feather this in or out. And you can change the opacity. So that it looks more subtle. But I'm just going to run this up and try and keep it really tight on this guy's face. Right there. Alright, since this is the first position, I'm going to add the keyframe. And play through the video a little bit. Always add the keyframe first and move or change whatever you need to do in these motion parameters. Add another keyframe. Add another keyframe. Move this. Add another keyframe. Add another keyframe. Now uh, you'll notice I'm going to the effect title bar and selecting the keyframe from that drop down menu. It automatically sets a keyframe on all parameters that can be keyframed. That way if I wanted to change something here, something else here, I don't have to think about setting the keyframes at that time or going back to the previous keyframe and setting up the transitions. Just keyframe everything. It's the easiest way to do this play through some more. Alright, so we're just about there. Now I need to add a keyframe right here. Drag that down into place. And I'll need to add one right here at the end. Play through this and see how we did. Very quick, very easy. Oh, need another one right there. Right there. You can also notice that you don't have to add these keyframes in order, but you do need to set the keyframe first before you make any changes to any of the parameters. Alright, and scale that out just a hair, feather it in just a hair, and there you go. Very quick. Hope you find it useful.